Hello good viewers, you are highly welcome uh, into this tutorial today. We are going to be looking at this Olympiad problem. Okay, uh, this is exponential equation. So we want to get the value of x, right? So now for x belong to, for x belong to set of real numbers, right? So now uh, let's see what we're going to do. So now I'm going to rewrite this equation. This 27 can be written as 3 to power 3. Right, then I have x plus 3 to the power x equals 68. Right, so now from there, so what's the next thing we're going to do? So now I'm going to be applying one of the laws of indices that say when you have a to the power b, then to the power c. Okay, so we can change the uh, position of the powers, bringing c inside and taking be outside so i'm going to replace the power 3 and power x like this so this is going to be i'm going to take x inside and i will take 3 outside plus here 3 to power x equals 68 are you following so now from there so what do you think i'm going to have here you can see that here i have 3 to power x i have 3 to power x here I can say let y equals 3 to the power x. So that is to say, anywhere I see 3 to the power x from that equation star, so I'm going to replace it by y. So which this will be written as y to the power 3 plus y. Okay, now here equals 68 right but you know that this equation can be written as having plus y okay equals minus 68 equals zero so this is called what this is called a cubic equation because the highest power of y a is what is three so now from there, so let's see what we are going to do here. So what I'm going to do here is that, you know, let's look at 68. You know, 68 can be having, we can have it to be 17 times what? 17 times 4. So when you say 17 times 4, we are going to have what? We are going to have 68. Now, let's now see something. If I try to put y here and i put y here you know that 17 okay but out of these two results so i'm going to be picking this 17 y try to express 17 y as 16 y plus y you know that 16y plus y will actually give us 17y. But we can do something here. What we are trying to look at is that I want to do the replacement of what of y here. I get it now. So that we'll be able to factorize or bring out something you know, beautiful. So now here, if we have 16y plus y to be equal 17y, Right, and here we want to make y the subject. You can see that y is going to be 17y minus 16y. So now, therefore, this 17y minus 16y, we're going to replace it with y here. So we have y to the power 3, okay, then plus 17y minus 16y. You know that 17y minus 16y will actually give us y, then minus 68 equals what? Equals 0 y here i have 16 y here so let me see if we take this and this together that is y to the power 3 minus 16 y then plus 17 y minus 68 then equals 0 so now from there what are we going to do so now let me try from here i can see that i have y common okay 
let me bring out y y okay into bracket i'm going to be having y squared minus 16 then here i have 17 comma then we have y minus so 68 divided by this 17 we're going to be having what four i have this four here then equals zero so now from there we can see that we have what we have y then here this is difference of two squares that say we have a squared minus b squared this will be a plus b then a minus b so that's what we're going to use here y minus y squared this one is 4 squared plus 17 y minus 4 equals 0 so we have y equals y applying this now minus 4 y plus 4 plus 17 y minus 4 equals 0 i following so now from there i can see that i have y minus 4 here y minus 4 here y minus 4 here i can factorize y minus 4 outside i have y then i have what i have y here so this y is multiplying this we are going to be having y square then this y is multiplying this because i've already taken y minus 4 this is it out so now in the bracket we're going to be left with y and y plus 4 so therefore let's just try to do the multiplication from here so so that we know waste much of our time so we have y y squared y times 4 we are going to be having 4y then here we are left with what we are left with 17 do you understand then equals 0 so the next thing we're going to do we can see that we have a zero form equation okay so from there we have y minus 4 okay equals 0 or we have y squared plus 4y plus 17 equals 0 so now from there now we are having y to be equals 4 okay so we have y equals 4 so please let us stop here let's look at this one here the solution here so we want to know whether this solution we give us or this equation will give us a real root or it will give us a complex or any form so let's try to check whether we're going to have a real root so we're going to take the discriminant to be b square minus 4ac and we all know that this b is the coefficient of y here which is 4 squared minus 4 and a is the coefficient of y square which is 1 c is the coefficient of uh, is the constant which is 17 we have 17 so 16 minus 4 times 17 so that's going to give us 68 so 16 minus 68 16 minus 68 we are going to be having minus what minus 52 right so therefore since we have minus 52 this is telling us that minus 52 is what is less than zero so which means that we are going to be having complex complex what complex roots but don't forget that the question said we should look for when x is what when the x is real number so therefore we're going to neglect this so this will be cancelled right then we go for that by using this one so now let's go back to this place y equals 4 so now if y equals 4 we need to recall recall by recalling you can see that we've let that y to be 3 to power x and y is now 4 we have 3 to power x i following so now if 3 to power x so to get the value of x what are you going to do we are going to take the log reading of both sides okay taking the log reading of both sides we're going to have log 3 to power x equals log what log 4 do you understand now so from there x will come log 3 equals log what log 4 I following so now from there we have so dividing both sides by log 3 we're going to have x to be equals log 4 divided by what divided by log 3 i following so now we can go further by saying rewriting this 4 as 2 raised to power 2 divided by what log 3 
so now from the law of logarithm so whenever you have log okay a b so this is going to be b log a so now these two will come down we're going to have 2 log 2 over what over log 3 right so from there we have x to be equal to that right that is x equals let me cancel this x equals this so now also you know that when you have log a over log b you can rewrite this as log a to base b so now let me rewrite this one as this we have x equals 2 log base 3 to base 2 so that is the solution to the problem so if you find the class very interesting okay so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you so much for watching so if you want to know whether you are right or not just put this into your uh, calculator and see whether the equation will be satisfied or not okay so now see this on my own calculator here and see what we have so can you see this is my calculator here so i actually put the value back to the equation so i have the equation to be satisfied that is 68 can you see now thank you so much for watching bye bye